Snowflakes are infinitely beautiful, but are they infinitely unique? Well, here's KCAL meteorologist Marina Jurica with this week's What on Earth about the chemistry of a snowflake. Imagine a molecular dance high in the clouds above us, crafting a delicate snowflake into a unique design. Snowflakes are tiny crystals of ice that form when the atmospheric temperatures dip below the freezing point for water. Snowflakes have intricate designs and patterns that reflect sunlight, giving them that beautiful shimmery appearance. A snowflake begins when a tiny dust or pollen particle comes into contact with water vapor high in the Earth's atmosphere. The water vapor coats the tiny particle and freezes into a tiny crystal of ice. This tiny crystal will be the seed from which a snowflake will grow. A snowflake's shape reflects the internal order of the water molecules. The molecules of water that form each tiny ice crystal naturally arrange themselves into a hexagonal six-sided structure because ice is an open network of water molecules. As more water molecules join the growing crystal, they fit into that repeating shape, which is why you tend to find snowflakes with six arms. Each molecule has four bonds, with hydrogen bonds being longer. The open structure is made up of rings of six oxygen atoms, making the snowflake shape. The shape depends on humidity and temperature as it is forming. Some temperature-humidity combinations produce flakes with long, needle-like arms. Other conditions produce flakes with wide, flat arms, and others produce thin, branching arms. Two snowflakes can look identical to the naked eye, but they will be different on the molecular level. The colder the temperatures, the more intricate the snowflake design will be. Fun fact, snowflakes are not all white. They are translucent, where light is reflected rather than passed through. As you can see, inside Inside these delicate crystals lies a world of fascinating science. Nature and chemistry come together in one of winter's most delicate treasures. And that's What on Earth for this week. Happy holidays and thanks for tuning in.